Hi everyone. Minecraft is logging in right now. Now we're going to wait a little bit longer. Uh, meanwhile, I can say hi, Superminix, hi, Wets, hi, Stick Boy, and welcome to our channel as well. Similar for Cold Watch. I'm very glad that you're enjoying the mod. Also, hi to C. Z. Mackey. Hi, Michael Asylum. Welcome to our channel. Hi, Tiny Tots. Hey, Andros, which you probably won't hear because you're gone already. Hi, Tiny Tots. Hi, Teacher. And hi, Katya. How are you guys doing today? I just at the moment to start streaming. We logged in. Actually, I was ready around five minutes ago and then I tried to log in and I had a mod mismatch and I had to remove a wrong version and restart the game which took another six or seven minutes or so so but now we're f we are fine um, we did quite the development today and we also have a new version here on the server I did not I did not to be honest I did not I did not recheck for horsey and that's potentially a good idea to just start now I'm going to take that horsey here and see if the updated server um, fixed it like the server restart we had in between Ah, oh, you did Simus. I'm going to give it another and I'll shot quickly and see if I can find her. That would be very unfortunate. If she's now gone for good. <laughs> nice cat, yeah. Hi, fair wolf. <laughs> Use horsey as a blackmail. That's evil. That's truly evil. Um. So the tavern update got launched yesterday and is already on here, but there are some minor bugs with it. As you probably have noticed, the costs are off um, at the moment. However, that one I fixed today already. Um, similarly, the, there was a bug related to citizens dying on spawn all the time, which we've also fixed, which happened because we didn't check if the citizen has um, if the citizen has enough space to spawn in too high. That only checks for one free block, so that obviously fails. And the second issue was that he actually was trying to spawn at the uh, integer block position and not at half the block. So it would still halfway in spawn the citizen. Yeah, I couldn't find her. Even with 0 0.5, I couldn't find her. Even with uh, after the restarts, that's fairly un. Um, I think, I think I'm going to say I think I might have fixed the issue of losing items. Um, that might have been related to that the code we thought that marked a chunk um, uh, a rack as unloaded didn't mark it as unloaded and only marks it if you manually remove it so that fix got released today as well um, we have a new I um, update released with status icons that tell you in the citizens UI about what they're up to at the moment like if they're up to eating something or similarly we've also fixed the issue with guards running around even though they're sick which is a fairly funny bug talking about it because the guards when they run around even though they're sick it's not because they want to run around but it's actually because their teammates who walk in a group with them tell them to continue walking and even though we had a check that should prevent that from happening in if the 
if the worker is currently sick. That did not work accordingly. Yeah, it was absolutely crew pressure. Yeah, absolutely. So we also got that one fixed today. Which I'm fairly glad about too. There we go. Now. Um... So those were a few small things that took essential time to to debug and find the problems for. <laughs> yeah, basically that. Yes, my lord. Burnt slabs, glass panes, torches, and sandstone stairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Torches I can give you. Bird slab. I should have some birch on me. Okay, there we have the birch. There we got the sandstone. So we got a, a few neat little fixes today we launched. Um, in the worst case, um, we can, like, some add ons is going to look at that. In the worst case, what is always possible is to turn on manual assignment quickly and then use that. More birch slabs. And sense on stairs as far as I remember. And fire guy, welcome to our channel as well. Yeah, Sam, Sam is still at his parents' house. Gonna put a roof over my head. Oh, I put it in here. I didn't want to put it in here. Oh, did yes. I think she picked it up, did she? Yes. She did. Glass pane is only missing now. Glass pane. Okay. We got that one too. I think I picked those things up. Weekends again. Oh. Um, here. We got everything for the next delivery man upgrade. Um, do they even on the next night, like on the first night I can't imagine that happening, but even on the next night, um, does this still happen? Um, is there a way the village to start supplying their own needs? I'm not sure I get what you mean because we have the delivery men so if the miner and lumberjack mine out certain blocks and get them you will actually the workers like the builder is will actually get them as well so that should already kind of um, supply their own needs in that regard Okay, that's weird then. Could you report that to our GitHub to some add-ons? So for example, that is the one of the new citizens. So that y we could recruit for 46, 8 books for example. And she has fairly decent stats already. That's why it's not so cheap. Okay, great. Um, I'm gl very glad you're enjoying it, Fire Guy. Um, and like Wizzy said, we are currently launching the. Ah, oh, nice, it's almost finished. You said this in Cavalry Research. We are currently launching the 116 schematic server. Um, as all our schematic servers, these are accessible for all our patrons as well. So if you're interested in checking out all these styles there and working on your own style, you can do that also on our Patreon server. You're very welcome to do so. Um... Oh nice, the delivery in level 2 finished. Let me drop off some of these things here. There we go. 
Uh, I can drop off this f this bread here too. So the new schematic server is also going to mean that we're going to start adjusting the existing schematics to 116 blocks and I think that is going to be fairly interesting because we can then leverage all the new and neat blocks there are to build very nice new schematic additions. There are a lot of things you can do with those new blocks. Talking about it, there is also a new addition that should be here that we can turn off breeding. At the moment, it's, that means he's not breeding anymore. That means he won't be killing the the, the entities. That would also mean that he shouldn't need any wheat. Um, it always depends on what kind of rework. Do you want to rework the entire sandstone style, or do we want to re rework parts of the sandstone style? While, what did Fortune start working now? Ah, the Citizen one. So she's going to need a bunch of tools. Um, I guess we're going to go to the warehouse. We're going to put a bunch of tools in the warehouse, so that the delivery man is going to be supplying our builders with pickaxes and shovels, and we don't have to do this anymore until we got a blacksmith to do that. Okay. Let's start by getting a bunch of these. Okay, um, we do need a bunch of cobble. We don't have so many granite, but that counts too. It's another stick. That's all we have sticks, yes. Okay. Five shovels. You see, I learned. And five pickaxes. And put them in here. So when our worker is going to request them, that is going to be fairly easy. Um, yeah, we can also do that. Um, there's also a new... Um, underground style Luna has been working on for the past weeks which is going to enter this need level mod pack and is going to be available on this server as well um, so that's and I looked already over it I think she not sure if she posted a video on YouTube yet but that style looks pretty epic and kind of makes me feel like possibly going underground with one of the next colonies. Um, Wissy, you can join me on voice as well if you want, by the way. The clay roof blocks. Um, that should be the stone mason, to be honest. But if not, if you can't find it, you can still um, make a... Um, an issue on github and ask there and I'm sure w someone is going to pick that up we got someone currently that's heavily focusing on our crafters so I'm sure that he is going to pick that up hi Margo um, the only prop uh, that sounds like a neat idea the only problem always of reworking the style is um, as long as you don't change the footprints and the way the building is facing that should not be a problem if you change the footprints and the way it is facing then it might be better just to create a new style uh, for 116 that only matters if if you would take a while, right? If we wait another few weeks, I'm sure that there are going to be enough people using that already. Let's see if we can supply the the builder here all the needs. 
cactus fence. Do we have still cactus logs with us? We do, we do. Uh, I think we're going to get some more cactus though. However, we are, yeah, we are always working on the schematic server, but it's never, always a question how long that one is going to take. Um, dum -de -dum. So, placing those. Yeah, I'm mining all of them on purpose because I don't like them falling on the other cactus. Uh, that could, could be an option, but... It always depends on how long he would need to rework it. Because if we done months without a desert style, it would be kind of sad as well. Hi, Captain. How are you doing? Okay, now we can supply a bunch of these. Let's see if there's anything else. Sandstone slab and stairs. Do we have enough sandstone with us? A bunch. We should probably go get a few more sandstone mining. Okay, um, meanwhile, I'm going to get a bunch of those. And then we really get as many cactus fans as we can. I'm going to drop that off here. And then sand some slabs and stairs. So we got sand, sand, and sandstone. And I think we probably got some more sand here. We can also make more sandstone off. Great. Works perfectly. Then we do want to make stairs out of that. Yeah, that's uh, so. Dun -dun. Slabs. Actually, you want a few more slabs. Here we go. So, stairs. And slabs. We have enough for all of that now. Could get a few more stairs, though. Let's get another set of 40 stairs here. And let's get another sand to sandstone recipe here out too. That's much better. Oh, we got so much sand in here. Let's transform a bunch of that sandstone. We're also going to have fairly soon a better way to get sandstone for our crafters. So that's going to be pretty neat in the future as well. To auto supply the colony with all the sandstone you need. I'm going to make a bunch more stairs here. There we go. So we have for the next citizen upgrade already almost enough. Don't have to take care of that. Now I'm going to check on the other builder how he is actually doing, how Connor is doing. Yeah, we, I think we have another eight days or so without Sam Adams. Yeah, blame blame a lot of people for not having our schematic server yet. Um, you know, we are getting uh, potentially closer, but it's very difficult to give any. Outlook for how long it may take So that's very it's a relatively big task and We do have to alter a bunch of the internal changes Based on how structures are detected etc So that makes it essentially a little bit more difficult than just hooking it up Do you have oak yes And that sounds fair. Mm. 
Oh, sorry. Sorry to hear that, Ross. I potentially did fix that um, in the next update. Um, in his inventory, inventory. Um, now we check how many. I think we have two researchers here at the moment. Yes. And how many researches do we have running at the moment? Wait. Uh, bring up here again. So none here. Oh, that sounds very weird. Um, unlock school. Oh, we can unlock rails soon. That's neat. Just need a bunch of rails for that. We do want to unlock the hospital though. Does it have any requirements? Nope. Okay. So that's the first thing we want to do. And we do have carrots with us. As far as I remember at least. Here. It's a cheap one. And definitely a necessary one. Okay, great. So we got that one started already. Mm. That's the wrong exit, isn't it? Also the wrong one. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what our builder here needs now. She completely forgot about that again. What's next? I do have at least some old logs for you. You gotta get used to me supplying them a little bit slower because we do need our lumberjack to cut them and that needs a little bit. Ow. Yeah, I heard already people complaining about 116 not running very smoothly. Okay, that's at least something, Ross. I'm going to give this here. And I'm going to get some more baked potatoes for me. That's good. <laughs> that sounds very nice, Margo. I'm glad you got your boyfriend to playing Mine Colonies. I think it's a pretty amazing mod for playing, especially in a team. Because it also gives you something to do while your play partner is offline. I'm going to upgrade this one here as well got those to level three let's see what does that level four need that might be a little bit expensive another two nether brick stairs it's not so bad actually it's not so bad but i think it's not necessary right this moment to get it yet so we better focus on our citizen hats and Oh, best friend. I totally read that one wrong. Okay, we, we do have to think about the wall layout. Now, Sean said yesterday that there is an existing wall layout in the mod for the Space War style. So, I definitely do want to check that one out. Let us check out if she dumped. A bit of oak getting a little bit of lag again do you hope some added it was my lag I guess yep I timed out relogging now 
Um, I want to say hi and welcome Sneebuna to our channel. Yet yeah, I had a, a weird lag here in my internet. So we're re-logging now and then we should be pretty fine again. Um, getting some of the oak and then uh, we should check out the wall design Sean made for the sky war uh, space war style itself um, I got a little bit angry today I saw a guy making shingle slabs inspired by mine colonies being inspired those being basically one by one copies with a few minor changes and getting 54,000 reddit likes and all kinds of different badges and people telling him oh this is the best mod ever and I was like what this is our stuff that doesn't count this is so unfair We have those blogs for years and no one gave a shit and this guy makes a new mod a fabric mod posted on reddit and people think he's the biggest hunk out there and it's 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 literally it's like I would call it like a Chinese copy it's just different enough so that you can't complain. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of people who like instant gratification and they want everything to be quick and um, and beneficial for them instantly. In Mind Colonies is more like a long-term gameplay kind of mod. Um, meanwhile, I also noticed that all the uni experiments I was running for my university, not all of them, but let's say around half of them were for nothing because I was building unbalanced trees instead of balanced trees and that was Fairly disappointing. Um, give me a short second. One second. Bring a break. Okay, um, so yeah, that was fairly disappointing as well. At least I did find out that my trees were unbalanced because that gives me a little bit of hope that my experiments are performing better than I thought or then the experience turned out, which was fairly disappointing. <laughs> that is possible in the future. At the moment it's kind of possible, but not the kind of war you would want it to be. Yeah, yeah, it's my tree implementation. Uh, it's my communication tree implementation. Um, decorations, space war. Um, that's where we on under walls. Base wars, yes. Okay, that's the wall gate. Wall inner corner. Hi, Sat Horizon, how are you doing?
And the problem was probably that I didn't um, base it on anything. I just made the implementation from scratch because I'm not building one tree. I'm I have to build um, trees on all the replicas and then identify at which position which replica in the tree is so that each replica knows which its parents and child child processes are that it has to com uh, communicate with and those look actually pretty fair to be honest we just um we could potentially start with a simple wall and then potentially go go with one of these in the future but i'm not fairly happy with them because they're only one thick so that would be very easy to break through and very quick so i think it let's start with some simple ones Um, let's get some material first. Um, it's because I need just, um, in general, balanced trees. Like a binary tree or generally any n tree. And welcome the Dankest Yeeter and Jaguar 2321. Welcome to our channel. Um, I think I'm going to go with those here. Then all of you buildings are going to use them in the future too. Yeah, that's that's the bug I was talking about. The visitors currently are experiencing some weird bugs. I can do this. Which is going to be fixed in future versions. <laughs> awesome. Yes. I think Minecon is uh, gives you fairly neat um, options to go with. Just want to go like with like one, two, three. This is four. Um, oh yeah, the cor I heard the corpse mod is not as satisfying as Corail's one. It's a real pain that that happened to us in the midst of this new mod pack. Okay, um, so we're going to take care here a little bit of this sand, so we can then take this up another level but but yes I totally agree I think mine could mine colonist community is under the modded communities I would say definitely the best community and the healthiest community as well we barely got uh, we rarely get trolls etc so that's very nice. Oh, it's one, two, th one, two, three. Forgot one. Four. Okay. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine with the diversity we're having already. No need for flamers. How does this look? Huh. And I'm oddly not very satisfied with this. I would love to have something alongside the corner directly. Oh wow, Th thanks a lot, Ferrowolf, for all the community subs. 
That's very generous of you. Very neat. But then we're kinda unsatisfied of this. I need to scrap it again. Let me see if we can do something alongside the corner that doesn't involve Let's see if that is possible as well one two three four No, the stream is um, completely open for everyone always. You do not have to be um, a sub to, the, to, to, be, to see the stream. And the videos of the stream are always uploaded with a few days delay to our YouTube channel. Yeah, Fairwolf is our master gifter that is definitely that's definitely true super epic um oh nice oops potentially we can put these here Yes, Feral is definitely helping a neat quantity to to grow our channel, which is helping us a lot. Um, generating, can I copy this? Um, let me get that from from Discord and send you guys the the trailer here. Yeah, we, we'd upload this to the YouTube channel, so if you lose um, an episode, you can always check out on YouTube. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm getting an a cappella version now. I haven't that one yet. They can't wait for the pretzel rock update with the lo-fi and jazz channels. <laughs> okay, that's neat. Um, now we gotta see, can we like do something like this? Potentially here. Gotta see how that one looks like actually. Oops. I guess that kind of. That looks super ugly. Tell me. That looks horrible. So those look fine, I think. Can go down here see how it looks like from the bottom and those look fine I think but those looks that looks weird yeah <laughs> that's an advantage of the home office Those look fine, I think. Those we can continue. But the other ones are the difficult ones, actually. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure 
if I'm happy with the diorite here either. Um, let me try out a different material as well. Let's see. I did want to get... I do have armor now. Um, let's try some granite potentially. Let's see how that one turns out. Could fit a little bit more together with our granite slabs here too. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely have to make sure of that, but with the with the mod with the terraforged world gen, we definitely have a lot of those. Let's see how that turns out. I think that looks a little bit better for the desert. I have to say. There we go. Picking up the stuff again. Two, three, four. But those we, those we remove, and forget that we ever did that. <laughs> that looks terrible. So, um, so how can we vertically connect them nicely? We can at least go like this. Go a little bit down. Have a nicer vertical line. Let's see how we actually could do it like this. Let's see. Just do those as placeholders quickly. And then we remove this one here. I think potentially I could live with this. Then we gotta put some blobs up here. And we do need a few more of those again. Let's see how that one turned out. Here. Yeah, diagonals are never. F but I think that one looks good. I think that one we can continue the wall. We just have to make sure that we got neat diagonals going and not kind of weird ones and I think then we should be fairly fine the smaller gap definitely makes it look less weird Just gotta remove those here are there going to be always a way for the citizens to get up like there's here a path still okay uh, this is going to be our first line of defense. Um, they will eventually break iron doors as well, potentially. Or break something next to the iron doors. And we're going to have a multi-wall setup. So we're going to have a smaller wall on the inside. Um, a smaller wall on the inside and then we're going to start having bigger walls on the outside um, oh, I didn't want to de destroy all of the sand I'm flying to me sand good because we want here there we go and again we have to place some extra here Oops, one too much. There we go. Um, then we go here. Only one. And yeah, my shovel is a little bit too powerful. <laughs> and another visitor died. Yes. Very great. Fortunately, that one is going to be fixed fairly soon. And that one is going to come one, two, here. 
Yes. Can place some sand up here. Then we need these slabs. Ah, one too high. <laughs> um, and then we can remove this. Okay. Then we just have to put this here a little bit down. Great. And welcome, salty, salty cannon as well. That horse. What, what you're doing, horsey? Wizzy, your horse is acting up weirdly. Oh, I see that the doors are still bugged after the last update. I did hope that the mod that bugs those doors fixes it. Um, I could imagine that uh, we eventually add something like um, exploding raiders or something like that, but that would be only for the hard mode. Definitely only for the hard mode and only after we also add that ways of um, guards countering it so. Let's close these things here off and I think that looks like a fairly neat wall alongside here. Let me get up here. Yeah, it's, I'm very sad about it too. Yeah, yeah, we would only we would only add that one, two, three, four. Here's five. Okay, I can make this here five one two three four and at the in between yeah we would only add that on on hard mode for people who absolutely love challenges um, yeah some add-ins did add the hard mode on the server but it is all we also have to uh, agree that the the tools make it much easier to have fairly overpowered weapons like I know that Sean fall kills his raiders with with one hit even at a bigger colony level already so here we have to add to it So one, two, three, four here. One, two, three, four here. The next one would one, two, three, four here. And then we have again one, two, three, four, and five gap. Gonna place some here. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then we have to remove those here again. There we go. We can place up some sand here, the side of those pillars, to place the slabs. And we gotta put some stuff in the inventory. Um, we have a bit of space left over. Put those together. Three, four. One, two, three, eight, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's fine. I just gotta mow those down quickly. And we slowly, w our defenses are being established. Um, I'm not going to go this all completely around our colony area, but I do want to protect our residential buildings. 
Yeah, I do also only play in hard mode, but I do know that there are some people who have bigger problems with it. <laughs> That's nice to hear. And one here. One, two, three, four. I'm going to be honest, my colonies is the only reason I'm I'm still playing Minecraft as well. Um, I don't play vanilla in generally anymore and I do... I had some a phase where I used to play some tech mods but I kinda got tired of those as well. But I can't get tired of mine colonies I have, I have to say. Uh, one, two, three, four. So we can see one, two, three, four. We're getting there. And then we have one here. One, two, three, four. One here. One, two, three, four. There we go. And the other ones outside of this, we have to mow down. Here, there we go. Those are fine. Um, yeah, I, I remember when I started with mine colonies. It was when 1.2.5 with the, um, what was, the pack? I completely I forgot the pack name again. I always do that. Um, yeah, jog box pack. And I played with the chalk box pack, and they had mine colonies in it, and they had millionaire in it. So I did start off with millionaire, simply because those villages randomly generated in the world. So I found the mod uh, very quickly. Like I just found the mod in the world and started interacting with it. And started playing around with it a bit but I did get bored fairly quickly because it was there was not much gameplay left after delivering the stuff huh. shouldn't have done this like you give them the stuff and that's there's nothing you can do like in my con and then I've started playing mine colonies and was like wait my colonies I give them stuff but I get something back, I get a lot of control of how I want things to be placed. So I love that idea that I could basically have the colony grow as I want and I'm not kind of restricted on the automatic placement millinery does. And yes, nowadays millinery is not very well maintained in general. There's not a lot of millionaire left. So it's not very well maintained. There we go. And those mow those down. And then we check on our lumber check quickly. If if she has some oak here. Um I think I think there was a new version of millionaire for higher uh, for 115 I think they port it it seems oak is still voiding yes which is absolutely great because that's the material we need the most at the moment in our colony um, as far as I know they update it but that's all they did. I don't think I didn't hear much after that. Let's make some sandstone. Then let's craft some sandstone stairs again. Uh, some sandstone. That's sand. Sandstone slabs. There we go. But yeah, Techtopia was pretty horrible, I have to say. Like, not that the mod is horrible, but when um, this guy, the creator of the mod, started making Techtopia, we were getting 
literally 10,000 messages every month of people asking us did you see Tectopia? Are you afraid? Aren't you afraid? And I was like, no. It's a completely different mod with a completely different purpose. We are not afraid. And besides it, I also did say that making a big mod, especially with entities in Minecraft, is not easy. So, one, two, three, four. So this guy was working a few weeks, maybe months on this project. So you can expect things to be a lot buggier, more a lot buggier than he is portraying it in the videos. And yeah, he kind of gave up on it and I heard of people that it is extremely buggy. So we were right in after all. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of tried to ride a little bit on the Tectobia train by telling people on YouTube um, under the videos, oh, you know that you can do all these things already with mine colonies. <laughs> Hoping to get a few people out of this. I hope it did. It, it seemed... It seemed some people might have noticed that because of that. Hey, wh wh what is not nice is that the guy makes 20k a month. We're doing half the work we do. That is not nice. <laughs> um, so we going to go from three now. So let's put this one down and make this here one longer. Oops. Oh, I I don't really really care it's because what is important is that the citizen huts are inside so when the raiders arrive um, the lumberjack is going to walk inside so that should not be a problem itself I think that should be fine nice so we do want this to be one two three four Five. Eh. One, two, three, four, five. And we can build over here again. Nice. <laughs> yeah. In, in reality, lumberjacks are like super strong guys. Especially the medieval ones. Because carrying around those logs. That must be some serious work. One, two, three, four, five. Four. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. I guess this is coming along nicely. Those walls are looking fairly nice and kind of protective. We do want to go this until the guard tower. And from the guard tower we go to the hill over here. So we're going to have the two farmers outside. <laughs> there are always possibilities. This apple here. I'm going to check on the lumberjack. Get some more logs. Bring them to the um, the builder, and then we're going to check also. Oh no, she's going to dump. Here we go. Got it before she go. It went dumping. Um, and we check on the other builder what fortune is needing from us. 
A superhero academia hat. <laughs> No, it's um, arbitrary speed. They break all the blocks in the same speed. Mm. Yeah, Kaisen is one of the bigger Mine Colony streamers as well. You need a pickaxe? Really? So all the pickaxes I provided are gone, seemingly. Let me get a few pickaxes for her. There we go. Today, then. But that should be enough. And a red bad. Do we have potentially the stuff for a red bad with us? I know we got this. Yes, we do! Very nice. So we can give her that already, too. White bed and a red bed. And now she's going to have everything to finish the citizen. Yes, it's the same speed. So you want a high and thick wall. Yeah, I should probably. Ah, uh, here. Sorty backpack. That's true. Let me bring the old logs I got so far to the builder again. You only need a hammer and some We're getting there, right? Only 120 left. Another 5 trips. Yeah, it was 260, I think, at the beginning. You, you can see here, there's a fair amount already. Um, yes, that's also one of the reasons we are offering the streams. Um, for once, um, to get community feedback. And on the other side, it is also fairly useful to regularly play our own mod to see where the problems lie. Since we spend most of our time only developing, it is sometimes a little bit, how would we say this, we can't see the forest because of all of the trees anymore. One, two, three, four, five, go down one again. There we go. <laughs> That's nice to hear, definitely. One, two, three, four. <laughs> ah, no, I broke the, I placed it wrong. Too enthusiastically placing the blocks. Yeah, I think the mod has come a long way. We do know that there are still things that are not working optimally, but in general, um, Orion said the right thing <laughs> yesterday. He said, I'm very happy that I do not have to work with the AIs. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Because it is very challenging to get things working in the environment of Minecraft. Not only do we have all the weird issues Minecraft has itself to deal with, like Minecraft Entity Management is absolutely terrible and causes a lot of different issues. We also have like a world that changes constantly, everywhere, anything can happen. It's not like one of these games where you have an AI, but you can change the items in their inventories. 
You can change the inventories they're accessing. You can do everything. You can break the inventories they're accessing. You can break the furnaces they're working with. So things have to be fairly defensively programmed. And that is not enough. We get an, also got all the mods that add different tools, different ways, um, additional things that break things or change things and tools. So it can be very challenging to get those things done. One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, it is. It is very hostile for saying AI programmers. <laughs> That's very good. It's it's very difficult. Um, but, uh, to be honest, if Minecraft would hire, try to hire me, I would probably say no, and I would tell them to hire some add-ons, some letters. I think they, I think he would potentially work for them. Um, um, I'm doing a PhD to go into research, so. Game development is not um, on my general plan at the moment. I do want one, two, three. Ah, one more. Um, I do think though some add-ons would uh, do a just as well job at Mojang. And could be a uh, could be a great addition for the team to be honest. He did a lot of work with performance, like we are discussing performance for ages, and we were discussing for ages what Mojang should be doing with their AIs. And then um, Sam kind of got bothered enough by me ranting about it that he started implementing it, and. Oh, sorry. I didn't s see the message. Um, yeah, what, like one of the ideas of mind colonies, if you're remind, uh, reminded by the settlers, then that is on purpose. <laughs> Um, the woozle factor is is exactly the one uh, one of the things that I enjoyed of these settlers, and that's why we kind of have those similarities as well. So I think the two big inspirations we have so far are the settler settlers and Anno. So Anno has all those happiness and those kinds of factors and the settlers have this walking around citizens interacting factor and we're probably also going to borrow a lot of things from the settlers PvP modes. I've never played one of those, unfortunately. Um, in Anno it's more like they have cards walking, kinda walking around, as far as I remember. In those Anno I played, but not literally NPCs. It's like... I did hear a lot of comparisons with Dwarf Fortress already though, too, yes. Then one, two, three. Oh, that's three, four. Here. And then potentially we're going to close this like this here. So we got on one hand side already a closed border. 
to a certain degree. And besides having our guards then walk more around inside, it's going to good, be good for us. It's going to compress raiders a little bit better. Great. Now we should probably start placing some torches alongside the first piece of wall with them. Yeah, I did hear that Dwarf Fortress in general is not very easy to get into. Oh, well, I want them in the middle, not on the top. Those on the top look a little bit weird. Okay, that's great. Um, and Feralwolf. Ah, good night, Feralwolf. I didn't see that message. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Ah, wrong, wrong. Here. There we go. those border ones um, here we are almost out of torches we are out of torches we have some let's see if our miner has something let's see what can I do for you no nope. I think we want to see if we have some coal here. A bunch of coal ore. I think I had... I dumped some coal ore here as well. Let, let me get that one smelted. But I'm happy with the, with the wall layout so far. We got that smelted. Then we're going to check back at our lumber check. To get a bit more oak. I don't think I got a lucky pick. Okay, no. Definitely not going to put oak log there. Aha! That I'm going to put there. There we go. Then we check back at our lumber tank. Oh, true. Forgot that I'm spending coal on getting coal. I think you just wasted the the oak again, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah I'm going to use my. I'm going to make some nerd towers. I'm going to mine my way down. That is potentially much better. Yes. I think I think that the free I'm not a fan of those almost free torches. So I'm not using them. I think they're overpowered. So we go down here and get the coal. For torches, for real torches, not those fake torches of yours. I'm going to turn off. You're going to see all those fake torches are going to be useless in the future. <laughs> hey, science was so much more interesting in the Stone Age. Nowadays we got almost everything discovered. <laughs> I would say more like age of discovery that's the more interesting part of it I would say yeah but if you if you light a stick at a campfire 
that stick is probably not going to be uh, lit up for a long period of time. Yeah, I do. I will use um, some multi piston gates again on our walls. Oh, she got the oak locks. Very nice. Thank you. I do think that um, I found the disappearance bug. So, potentially in the next um, update to our uh, server here, that might be fixed. Yeah, dark matter, these kinds of things. There's some interest, let's say interesting things, but it is also highly theoretical, right? So that's kind of the disadvantage. Like there are some interesting things, but it's highly theoretical and practical implication of those things we might see in, uh, in decades from now, right? Similar to quantum computing and these kinds of things. It's a super interesting field, but we are still not even close to grasping to grasping that oh I hadn't heard that one yet that's that's fairly interesting And good night as well, Captain Saul. See you tomorrow. Now, tomorrow is my day off. I'm see you the day after tomorrow. You need more slabs. Then we're going to start the path over in this direction. It's going to be difficult. Because the citizen hut goes right here. I do not want to include the farmer though, so I do have to go like until the path and then have to go like over here. Yeah, kinda unlucky. I can at least go here in the middle. That will look fairly nice. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now it's there are like a lot of measurements, like all these um, gravitational wave things they've been proving lately. Those are very interesting things. Um, I know, uh, for example, also a guy who works at CERN and regularly announces new stuff they're finding in CERN, which are some very exciting and interesting things as well, in, generally, in general. Here we go, more torches. Then we go one, two, three, four, five. And then we probably have to go like one, like this, there. Now, they, yeah, they have detected it, not measured it, yes. We go over here after the city. One, two, three, four. This is five, isn't it? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, and five is then over here on the top already. Yeah, that's going to be difficult to make nice. One, two, three, four. Now potentially we're going to go vertical. And oh, now the citizen hut is in the way yet. One, two. Yeah, I have to go one more to go. Uh, can I? I can go diagonal here already, and then I can mine away just the sand here in the way. I just have to take care because of the citizen hut, so that is the maximum I can go diagonally. Ouch. Okay. Um, I do want at least to connect this here, and I think we would connect perfectly into this corner here. No? Oh lord. This is so sad. I was so hoping it would hit the spot, but it didn't. This is kind of super disappointing. So I prefer going in this direction. This is kind of ugly. Finish the citizen one. Very nice. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yes. Now I'm going to potentially just go along the border here. One, two, three. Yeah, that would have been very sweet. One, two. Three. I'm going to want to hit this at least. And then I'm going to make um, here a border and one, two, th one, two, three, here. Then we can make here again. And we can make again torches. There we go. Um, and then start connecting those. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's sometimes very difficult to have things. It's because we don't we didn't plan that exactly to line up. So it lining up occasionally is already very lucky, I would say. There we go. This time we wait for everyone to sleep. Yeah, that is that is epic every time. When it when it ends up lining up for real, that is always pretty epic. Here There. Um, placing some of these here. Here. And those then go over here again. Ah. Huh? Ah, uh, one too much again. I guess I needed one higher here. Having a, a difference of two is a little bit weird. So, 
go. Here we go. Ouch. Oh no. Baby zombie. Nothing worse than baby zombies. Ah. Oh, we made it. Let's get to the bed quickly. I think I can go to sleep now. There are monsters nearby, really? Come on. Done. Hmm. <clears throat> Getting progress now. We have around... I would say now a third almost walled in of our colony. <coughs> Sorry. Um, what happened? Oh, a husk. That was what well, the enemy that was close by. Okay, everyone got to bed. Where are the remaining? Hmm. Burned and got a bit more hunger effect. That's fairly unfortunate. I don't want all those... All those things. No, no, I don't. Ah! I got this magnetic stuff. Go away. <laughs> now we got it. I do have to make that one at least one higher. And potentially mine away here a little bit with the shovel. Yeah, that works. There we go. And then we can connect the um, top with one difference. So. I'm out again. I do need more... I have smooth sandstone and sand with me. Let me just take down here the corner I wanted to take down. There we go. That should give us a little bit of sand. Not all of this. Go. Oops, that was again a little bit too much. No, it was one too much only. Good. Um, so. There we go. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, why would other mobs kill golems? As far as I know, they are marked as neutral or something like that. You have to specifically target um, the golems then to get them killed. I don't really see the reason to for it. Like you said, they're peaceful mobs. Gotta help your colony killing them. Okay. Oh wow. 
yeah so they want they don't like minecraft villagers i wonder if they hunt down mine colonies villagers this here oops there we go want to match we do want to have a gate as well I think that is probably a good place for a gate here Now potentially we're going to leave this here as a gate Not as big as this one here In the future we can think about some nice ways to make nice gates here In, in general already channeling the incoming raiders is already going to be very useful Because we know that they are going to go head for those open places so we can station guards here that kind of intercept the raid attacks. Yeah, I think the rail support we also saw in the last video. We're definitely going to have some underground rails in this colony here again. Definitely. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to check on our builders again. Everyone is getting to a certain degree at least but yeah the, the raider su the rail support was actually like me derping around a little bit that was not on any of our lists of things we wanted done ah she started with the guard tower 3 now nice That I'm going to display in a little bit um, and I was like hmm can I actually have them path on rails that was kind of my the premise and then so I checked what would I have to do I thought oh, that's not so difficult and then I actually implemented it I thought ah, I think that's a neat way to promote our university and I think it ended up fairly well let me check on the other builder again. Um, he's doing something. Let's reset it for this colony. And that should get him going again. The fortune is walking now. Ah, she's walking there to the guard tower at the other edge of the colony. Yeah, potentially she has everything she needs with her here already. It's a fairly cheap upgrade. But now Connor still... Do you see the new options? Skip the chit chat. Skips ahead through all the options. Let me just remove these. I'm going to put them back in here. MC citizens list ah, for our colony let's see honor is 15 he's supposed to be um, building I need to recall him to the town hall see what he is going to do then bit of rubber banding 
classic. We still are trying to figure out what is causing this. Elisa chat system. What uh, do you mean by that? I'm going to look in the console now if he maybe was crashing. Potentially, that was him worrying with a request. That's possible. Ah, where you could like chat with the NPC. Yeah, we do have some plans for random interactions with citizens and random ch um, yes, and random chatting. So yeah, that could be actually potentially something that could be interesting. <laughs> I imagine. I do have cut sandstone, didn't I? Smooth cut. Chiseled. I need sandstone. I'm going to hammer a little bit of it. <laughs> yeah, nowadays it's not so difficult. There's a lot of material available to code some neat ones of those yeah that is before my time <laughs> I was I was born in the 90s I'm a 91 child to be exact not so old but it's not so young either almost 30 already but uh, yeah I did I wasn't around in the golden age Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I guess I wouldn't, de I definitely wouldn't build one of the self-learning ones. Because I do not want to end up with a racist one like that experiment on Twitter. <laughs> Where people made, created a racist AI. That is definitely not what I would want. But... In generally, a little bit of context detection. Some random things could be fairly interesting. I think... Like, even if we say, like, self-learning is a big no-no still, I think even, like, self-learning is always going to be difficult. You kind of have to hard-code anti-racism and bigotism, basically, in the code. Because I don't think that you can ever get around it else. In an, in an, else, yeah. I think there's no decent way to get around it. I got an inventory full of that now, so that's neat. Now we can go back and feed our builder. Yeah. But I think it's still difficult. I think you're. St if you're smart enough, you can teach a lot of shit. Even if there are set boundaries. Yes, exactly. 
But like kids, you're never going to know all the bullshit other people are going to talk to your kid about. So it's fairly difficult to prepare the kid for all the possible shit that might be getting to them. But yeah, I there was some time um, uh, when I was doing my bachelor mainly where I was actually actively thinking about going into AI research for my masters. However, I did give up of it because um, for me there was not a lot of progress in AI in general. It was still very like increasingly powerful computers doing simple pattern matching and not much more than that yeah that's it's still the same algorithms with more power which get a bit more efficient and a bit more precise but not much more than that send some slabs okay yeah, it's basically just more brute force, exactly. So that turned me off signif uh, significantly of that. Of doing the those things. Um, I'm unsure if it's a hardware issue or maybe it's something which could be great with um, which could be potentially more interesting if we use um, quantum computing because then we got more uh, a higher form of non-determinism which could make this much more interesting I believe So I think that could potentially be like the next level. But besides that, I don't think... I think that AI is one of the things where we are going to continue being... Like, let's what they say, stuck for the next... For the next decade still. I think that is going to need a significant time yet before we get somewhat reasonable AIs. Good. Finally sandstone. Finish this part of the wall. So that's why I am like so happy that I went into distributed computing. Because we got so many problems of our distributed networks that need solving that are actually possible to solve in reasonable time a again a <laughs> no my my research is actually about my research is actually about resilience so if anything if anything they're going to use my research to make distributed AIs more difficult to hack and manipulate so that's a good thing yeah at the moment if I look at companies looking into AI it's 99.9% .9 stealing people's data and making money with it. So I'm double happy I didn't go into that area. <laughs> I made I'm going I'm making Skynet impossible to shut down. That's what I'm doing. 
That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm making Skynet impossible to shut down. To be fair, there are enough algorithms to make it impossible to make to hack Skynet. But what I'm doing is I'm going to make it easier for Skynet to, to grow bigger because those algorithms are very computation heavy. <laughs> uh, don't blame me, blame Wizzy. Yeah, exactly. Um, which, talking about things that get distributed enough to be difficult to shut down, that's where I am spending significant time working on, and that's blockchain, right? Um, blockchain is the perfect example of absurdly large-scale um, computer systems that are very difficult to shut down and are supposed to be very difficult to hack as well. I didn't, I didn't. What did happen to Cloudflare? Oh wow. That must have cost some millions there. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and Cloudfair is one of these funny things. I would say us computer scientists should actually hate. Because Cloudfair is actually one of these problems where it's like we need distributed stuff and then Cloudfair has all this heavily centralized stuff that makes everything much easier to hack and shut down parts of our infrastructure. At DNS at least there can be... Uh, at DNS you can design fairly decentralized already. Um, yeah, generally Google services, shutting down Google services would be absolutely horrifying. In general, yes. Yeah, now the horse stopped bugging around. I'm going to get there a bit of this coal. Yeah, that's why I'm working on building more resilient systems. I know that it is very difficult to have well-performing resilient systems. So that is my the main purpose. <laughs> yeah. Totally that one. Totally. The day someone hacks Google. But there are a lot of distributed DNS stuff so, uh, already. I think it would be fairly painful for a few days. But potentially we could recover easily from it. <laughs> I could be talking German right now. That that is not a problem if you prefer that. <laughs> yeah. What can I do for you? There you go. I think that looks fairly nice. We got that wall now going alongside, going to the other tower there. And the next episode, we're going to continue the tower here to the next tower there on the other end of the colony. And going from there 
all over there to the other tower. And then we got most of it done. And welcome Red Rose Ver Warrior as well to our stream. I, I, I once read about the efficiency of different languages and it is fairly interesting it's like languages are very similar in terms of efficiency I think the study I read English was the most efficient language however only because English is spoken relatively quickly on average while German is more efficient in terms of how many words you need to express something but is spoken on average um, slower than English. Interesting was I think Chinese that is very inefficient because it you need very long to express yourself and I went I once went to a Yeah, the, the compound word thing definitely helps. But I do notice sometimes that I in general need less words. Um, but Chinese, I remember once I went to a Chinese opera. And... It was very funny because it was like... Five minutes, uh, it was like... 30 lines of Chinese um, things displaying, symbols displaying. And then there were like two English sentences under it. Yeah, it was very cultural. So I found that fairly interesting. Um, it is getting fairly late. Oh, we're very over time already with the stream on two hours running. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in today. A fairly lively stream. Thanks everyone for participating. <laughs> um, tomorrow is going to be my day off. That's Monday and Wednesday. So we stream Monday to Sunday besides Monday and Wednesday. We're gonna Tuesday and then Thursday to Sunday. Probably a little bit better. Um, we did not show the status icons yet because that is in the next update yet um, I hope you all guys have a remaining nice evening and I'm going to see you guys on Tuesday thanks for tuning in and good night